This is Gadgets Top 321. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at some refills that are available for the Lehigh Lab Aqua Drops Twist Ring Notepad and Notebook. Now, these are ringed notebooks and notepads that whose rings can be open and the pages can be repositioned and removed and replaced. And um, this the pocket notebook comes with 40 sheets of graph paper and the refills come in packages of 40 sheets. So I'm going to open it up to the back. Actually, no, I'm going to stick with the front. And you open the rings by pulling up on one side and down on the other. The rings pop open. And I have... I removed some of the paper already so you didn't have to sit and watch me count paper. But this is 40 sheets. Let's see. I'm going to add 20 more sheets because... I'm going to put it on this side, make it easier to reclose the rings. Jet pens didn't mention what the capacity was for the little pocket notebooks, but in their description of the A5 size, it said the capacity was 60 sheets, and the rings for these two are the same size, and the paper's the same. So I'm going to try 60 sheets. And that's a nice, that has a nice feel to it. That, the, the cover's not, I guess doesn't feel as loose. It still kind of slides around, but let's see how the pages turn. Yeah, they don't get stuck. Okay. I'm going to try. going to open it up here toward the middle. I'm going to try putting 10 more pages in. This might be pushing it to the, its limits. So this is, I had 40 sheets in it and I added 30. So this is 70 sheets. Doesn't feel bad. Let's see, make sure they're all snapped. I would say 70 sheets are okay. Well, if you want to flip it around backwards, that's not as comfortable, but if you're not going to be doing that, yeah, um, if you're just going to open it and hold it like this or lay it flat on the table, that's okay, but flipping it around on itself, 70 sheets is too much. While we're at it, let's just see if we put all 80 sheets in here, what it looks like. I can see which side to open it on. Oops, sorry about that. Makes it a little bit harder to close the rings, but it's not impossible. Yeah, the cover still closes. And pages catch slightly, but it's not bad. Yeah, you can you can fit all 80 sheets in there and still it's still usable. You know, again, you can't flip it back on itself, but if you want to use it like this or yeah, I kind of like that. Oh, it starts to catch a little bit when you try to close it. But just wiggle it around a little. So 60 sheets works well. Uh, and 80 sheets works. Not ideal, but now you know. Okay. It's probably going to be similar similar experience well now we'll say this the um if you order this from jet pens it comes with 30 sheets of 
lined paper. I, but you can't get the black one from Jet Pens. Um, the black one I ordered directly from Japan and it came with 40 sheets of graph paper. Now I did order some lined paper from Jet Pens and the Jet Pens version of the notebook comes with 30 sheets of lined paper and the refills are 30 sheets of lined paper. And it does say that the max capacity is 60 sheets. So let's see. I'm going to put, I've got 40 sheets in here. And I'm going to add 20 sheets of lined paper. Close it up. You can also get this paper in blank, so graph lined and blank. Now, for this style of notebook, it on, the refills I've only seen in graph. Okay. So, yeah, this gives you a more substantial notebook. And let's see what happens when we flip it over on itself. Hey, it's, it works not bad there's a little bit of a gap there but so with 60 sheets you can still flip the notebook over on itself and it works really nicely let me go ahead and put the last 10 sheets so let's see what 70 sheets of paper looks like in here Okay, that fits well. Let's see how. Yeah, and even flipping it over on itself, it's a little bit bulkier, but not bad. So you can fit 70 sheets in here, and I'm not going to take it out. I'm going to leave it in there. All right, now you know that's 80 sheets. Yeah, this is 80 sheets. 80 sheets is a bit much. I'll probably leave it in there. But one thing I wanted to mention while you're here, on my pen test, this isn't fountain pen friendly paper. Let's see. I noticed when I was writing with the first pen, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it really feathered and that'll depend a lot on what ink you use um, and it bled through with two out of the three fountain pens the pilot Pereira surprisingly didn't bleed through but I think it's just because instead of putting down all the ink concentrated into a, a narrow line it kind of spreads the same amount of ink over a larger area but so I mean, technically, you could find a pen and ink combination. See, there's the Prera. It didn't bleed through. But the first two bled through. The Sharpies bled through. Um, I used a couple gel pens. The Uniball Signo has bled through on several types of paper that I've used it on. Um, usually, uh, a paper that doesn't work great with fountain pens, I'll use my Pilot G2. Those are my go-to gel pens. They work on uh, less than great paper. But my writing utensil of choice for these two notebooks is my Retro 51 Hexamatic. And that's 2B lit. I put BB there, but it's a 0 0.7 2B lead. It just puts down a nice dark line and it's pleasant to write on nice and smooth, but let's see, the Uniball Signo puts down, mm, just want to stick, puts down more ink than the G2s. The G2s were nice, worked well. 
there's a little bit of show through, but not any bleed through. So I'm a big fan of these notebooks. I like, um, I'll start a notebook with one topic and want to switch to something else and you feel like, oh, you know, I've ruined this notebook. You can take the notes you already had and move them to the back or toss them or move stuff around. Um, these are a cool little notebook. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.